Thank you for joining us. The iconic Benedictine Monastery is getting a new purpose. The Tucson landmark will soon serve as a shelter for Central American migrants seeking asylum here in the United States. News 4 Tucson's Aliyah Shahid has the story. It's new at 5. The Benedictine Monastery was once home to Southern Arizona nuns, but the empty building will soon act as a different type of home for asylum-seeking migrants. These are people who are here legally. Uh, they have gone through hell. They've crossed Mexico on foot or with coyotes. They're leaving a situation in Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, where they were uh, being threatened with their lives. City Councilman Steve Kazachik worked with developer Ross Rolney to devise the shelter plan. Some food, some clothing, some shelter, uh, the opportunity to make arrangements with their next of kin somewhere else in the country where they will go and they have 15 days to, to get in front of a deportation judge to make their asylum claim. There are plans to build apartments in the area around the monastery while keeping the building itself intact, but developers still have to go through rezoning hearings. In the meantime, the monastery can house about 30 people and nonprofit Catholic Community Services will run the shelter operations. This is a humanitarian gesture and great for the city of Tucson and the community uh, surrounding the monastery to really step up to the plate and say we understand the stories and we're validating you as a person. Aliyah Shahid, News for Tucson.